Hey, Miles here, milesbeckler.com, and this video is going to show you how to guarantee that Google is indexing your WordPress website without any sort of backlinks whatsoever. Now, in the whole content creation game, content marketing game, or whether you're doing a 90-day challenge, one of the biggest things you wanna make sure happens is Google's search engine spiders, the little robots that go crawl every page and index every page, you wanna make sure that they're crawling your website every time you create a new post, and daily once they're introduced to your site they will crawl that website daily there's a few tools that you need to use to absolutely guarantee that google will be indexing your site which means when you put up a new seo optimized post focused on a keyword google's going to get notified google's going to pick that up within 24 hours often within uh, minutes usually um, when you have a big site you can even see pages and posts ranking within 15 20 minutes uh, without any sort of backlinking at all and that's how attentive google is to your site but you got to establish that link first and that's exactly what i'm going to show you how to do here in this video so let's jump on the computer and kind of dig in on this i'm a Kind of do a little screen share with you. So here we are in the dashboard of my website. And what you want to do is go down here. You should already have the Yoast SEO plugin installed. And you notice I actually clicked. I didn't want to click on that. I just want to hover. But um, you can see that there is a sub item here in this sub navigation under the SEO. And if you just hovered, it would be out here in the middle. There's XML sitemaps. Now an XML sitemap is a sitemap designed for the robots, the search engines, and the spiders, and not for users themselves. And this is what we need to do. I've already set mine up, so I'm not, I'm not seeing what you're gonna see exactly, but you need to enable the sitemap up here. Yours is gonna start off as disabled. And honestly, I pretty much left it exactly as they came from kind of the, the start, right? Like the default settings, if you will. So once you enable it, I just enabled the general sitemap. I didn't go into the user sitemap you do have some abilities to kind of say what's in and what's not in the sitemap um, it's got my thrive boxes in the sitemap for example i'm going to take that out it's got my simple urls in i'm going to take those out uh apparently clearly i haven't really looked into this much like i said i just started up and launched it because the most important thing here is to really establish that link so once you're set up and you obviously you can exclude posts and you can exclude taxonomies if you know what those are but you can also ignore this all and just get it going especially if you're doing a 90 day challenge, spend the five to 10 minutes it takes, get this set up and I'll show you where to get this tied into. And then you can literally ignore it until you're done with your 90 day challenge. And then these settings are always here available for us to go back and, and tweak and work with. So at this point, I have got my sitemap. You can see that it says you can find your XML sitemap here and it's got a link. So you simply, I'm gonna hold control and click on that. It's gonna open it in a new tab. So this is my sitemap, nice and clean, right? You're either going to see a nice clean export kind of, or a nice clean output, or you're gonna see an error message. If you have an error message, go into the Yoast's website. Um, you can debug what's going on. There's probably a plugin conflict. Most of the time, this works well. On my wife's main big website, Yoast plugin for the XML sitemap did not work well because there was a plugin conflict. So I used um, kind of a third party. I just went in through the WordPress uh, plugin repository and I just searched for um, an XML sitemap plugin that generates it for me. I found a highly rated one that's been recently updated uh, and that generates it there. But I, I'm confident that for you, for your clean WordPress website, Website that you're just running on this Yoast one is going to work and it's better to run one off of a plugin you're already using because you do want to limit the number of plugins on your website that's really positive for the long-term growth so now that I can see it's got the post the page it's got all these kind of sitemaps for me perfect this is my URL then we need to take this sitemap and we need to go give it to Google so they know where to find it so this is the Google webmasters tool which is also known as Google search console you can get here by going to google.com forward slash webmasters and if you don't have this set up yet that's 
a very important step for you in the process as a content marketer. What you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to sign up if you have not already, and then you're gonna need to number one, authorize your website. They're either gonna have a little snippet of tracking code that you're gonna need to add to your site through FTP, or you're gonna need to kind of do something with your analytics code. And then you want to kind of connect your search console, Google Webmasters tools with your analytics. It's going to walk you through the process and this is all super simple. I have already set that up so I'm not able to show you exactly how that works. But once you're tied in, this is the search console dashboard. There's a lot of information in here. We're just going over the basics to get you connected through your XML sitemap at this point in time, but you can see it's showing me how many clicks. I've got this whole search analytics. It'll tell me if I have crawl errors. Uh, it tells me how my indexing is doing. You can see that there's a disparity between how many are indexed and how many are submitted. I can look into the reasons to fix these. That's what you can do after your 90 day challenge, but really get them connected and go full speed ahead in creating content is the tree is the key that could grow a tree. I don't know where that came from. So down here under the crawl tab, once you're all set up, you've confirmed your account, you've got it tied in, connected with your account, your account shows up. Also be sure that you, um, if, if your site's HTTPS, get the HTTPS, right? If your site's not HTTPS, set it up as not HTTPS. And if you change from HTTP to HTTPS, you go create a new webmasters, uh, a new uh, search console for the HTTPS. So once I'm in here, I click on crawl and then it's got a sitemaps link. I click the sitemap link here. And then all we gotta do is click this add and test sitemap up here. I've got my URL. Remember we opened it here. So I'm gonna take this what's after the slash. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna paste it. And you notice I've got the duplicated uh, slash there. So I'm gonna remove that. So I test it. And what you're gonna see is it takes a minute, test complete, view the test results, perfect. No errors found, number of children in sitemap, perfect. So it found it. Now, once I tested it, you need to go back, paste it again. Obviously don't duplicate out your slash here. And then you would click submit. Now I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that. So what that's going to do is it's going to literally upload a URL to your Google Webmaster Search Console interface that says, Hey, Google, this is where my sitemap is. Google's going to go out and read your sitemap. It's spiders will crawl every single URL it finds within your sitemap. And if for some reason, the indexing process has not started yet, that will initiate the indexing process. If you want to guarantee, and you really want to push, uh, the Google's kind of spiders over to your site, you can go over here to the fetch as Google, you click on fetch as Google. And you notice I already ran this once, so I'm not going to run it here, but all you do is you can set it desktop or mobile. It doesn't matter. I left it as desktop and I fetched as Google, my homepage. I left this URL blank and I clicked fetch. You could see that it ran it once on uh, October 7th when I was really kind of starting to ramp up my content onto my website. And all that does is it says, Hey Google, go check out this page right now. And it will instantly send Google spiders over to your website. Once they find your homepage, they're going to go read all of the content they can find. They follow every link they can find on your homepage. So having a blog role on your homepage is a great idea. That's why I have a blog role on my homepage. But even if you've just got blog up in your navigation, they'll find that and they'll get into your blog role that way. Also, they're going to go crawl you based on your um, XML sitemap at the exact same time. If you really want, if you have a post that you put out that you've spent a lot of time on, let's say you're not doing a 90 day challenge, you're doing like one epic blog post per week, you can go fetch as Google that one blog post every time that you run it, you simply go put the URL for it here. Um, so what I can do, I'll go real quick to Miles Becker, I'll show you exactly how that works real quick here. Um, I don't think if you're doing a 90 day challenge, I wouldn't do it every time it, they do actually have limits. I'm sure it'll tell me how many I'm limited to. Um, but I'm going to take this five steps to a successful online business. This was a really good post that my team came up with based off of a, um, a video I made. So I'm going to go pop that in here and I'm going to fetch this. And I just simply put the URL in there. I click fetch it runs and that's it. And it's going to get it set up. I would click next request indexing here. Uh, and it's just wanting me to make sure that I'm not a robot. 
and I'm going to crawl this URL and its direct links, which means sending the spiders to that URL, then they're going to click and follow all of my internal links that are in there, which will get them to my other content, then they'll follow the links there, and then they'll get to my other content. And that's how the spiders crawl the web. And I'll just click go here. And um, you can see, I think it says how many I can do. Does it say how many I can do? Um, I don't think it says that. So I'm not a robot, crawl this. And this option recrawls the URL. I have 10 of these a month. So that's my monthly quota is to have 10 of these. And I think I just recalled it twice. It doesn't have a, a confirmation. I am running my pop-up blocker. So, so it might, it might act a little bit weird, but I've essentially requested indexing at this point in time. And that's how you do it. Now I wouldn't, again, you notice I've never done this with any of my blog posts before I did it with my homepage. Once we got it going, um, if you want to, you can, you can do it up to 10 times a month. I just trust that having my good content going out, having my uh, XML kind of um, sitemap in place is my key. And then this is another one of those kind of pieces to the puzzle that it's a very set it and forget it. I mean, you saw I went into Yoast and I had my Thrive light boxes, which is my pop up box that shows up. Um, those were being indexed and, and submit to my XML sitemap. So like, it really is get this configured and then ignore it go in and work your tail off putting out content because putting out the content is the key. This is just making sure that when you do put out new content, it's picked up by Google almost instantaneously. And you're just guaranteeing that Google's search engine spiders are going to be crawling your entire website because your sitemap contains a list of all the URLs on your website. You put that into search console and Google now has a map. They have a roadmap or a site map and they go one by one by one. And then they follow all of the other links there. So get this set up, finish your 90 day challenge. Once you get into your marathon runners pace, feel free to go in, look for crawl errors, look for any sort of errors that you can fix. Look for the optimization opportunities. Um, Google wants you to create a, a clean Google friendly website to help Google refer traffic to you. I mean, that is in Google's best interest to turn you into a optimized kind of uh, Google friendly SEO or a Google friendly content creator or a Google friendly webmaster because you ultimately are a webmaster running your own WordPress website. So the data is in there, but nothing inside of the search console really is as important as putting out extremely valuable, focused, optimized, keyword focused topics day in and day out, right? So that 90 day challenge is the top priority. Make sure they're linked, but once you get down to that marathon runner's pace, feel free to go back in, play around in Search Console. There's a lot more videos that go way more in depth than this, but ultimately you gotta get it set up. And that is how you guarantee that Google will index your website without any sort of backlinks. I don't really do backlinks. I tested a, a backlink system. I did not like it. I did not feel like it was quality. So it's something I've just turned off and ignored and I'm just brute force putting out content. That's the same approach my wife has had with her website that gets 5 million visits, 5 million visit tours, 8 million plus visits per year. Um, no backlink. We don't focus on backlinks. We just focus on great content, great content, great content. The backlinks do appear over time. And as long as you're being indexed correctly from Google search engine spiders, you're going to notice that you're getting indexed. You're going to start to get traffic. You're going to start to rank for certain keyword phrases. And then it's all about brute force effort strategically putting out that optimized content day in and day out. And when you got some time, some free time, jump back into search console, take a look around, see what kind of errors. It takes a bit of time to populate the information in there. I hope this video has been helpful. This is a very important step for you as a content creator, as a WordPress website owner. Um, if you're building an authority site, you got to get this set up at some point. So do it right now. Jump in. It takes five minutes. I showed you exactly how to set it all up. Literally five minutes later, you're done. You're out back to creating content. That's what moves the needle. This just guarantees that Google's picking up on everything here for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up here in YouTube. Feel free to share this URL. If you know anybody who would get value out of this or someone who's new to building a WordPress website to just triple check that they're getting this really important step done. Any questions for me, feel free to hit me in the comments below. That's what they're there for. If you haven't subscribed, 
click the subscribe button. And if you have, click the little bell next to it, the little gray bell. That'll get you notifications in YouTube once I put up a new video. All right, that's it for today. I'm going to catch you on the next video. I thank you for your time. Uh, this is a really important step, so don't, don't skip over this one. Make sure you get in and get it done. And if you want, once you finish the process, jump into the comments. Give me a shout out. Let me know that you made it through the process um, and shout it out to the world that you made this step and that you're getting back to content marketing because that's what moves the needle. All right, thanks again for your time. I'll catch you on the next video.